Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi, everybody. We're so excited to come on live. Right? Are you guys excited? Very, yeah. very excited. Yeah. Very excited. <laughs> so you there, can you tell us a little bit about who you are and um, what are you holding over there? Um, I'm a proud surrogate and this is our six day old Surro baby. Let's see. Can we see him? <laughs> and he's very chubby. <laughs> Oh. Do your Lion King moment. Go up to the screen and show, <laughs> show the baby. And is this, like is this your King. baby? This is, this is not my baby. This is their baby. <laughs> okay, tell us a little bit about you guys. Are you, who are you and... So we are, we are the proud intended parents. Proud intended parents, okay. Yeah. Cool, okay. So, first of all, six days old, congratulations. Does your baby have a name? Yeah, yeah, Raphael. His name is Raphael. Oh, it's such a cute name. Okay, so um, I have a couple questions for you. What brought you guys to surrogacy? Uh, what brought you to surrogacy? What brought us to surrogacy is that uh, because we we are a gay couple, so we didn't have a, a lot of choice to have a kid, so we chose surrogacy to have our own biological child. Okay. Did you always always think that you would have a child, or mm. has it been easy for you? Yeah, it was easy. So at first we wanted a. So it it was really deeply rooted in my mind first, uh, and after that when we first met Michael, uh, when when I first met my <laughs> husband, uh, so I we were we were talking about this this dream and now the dream came true so we will be nice to our proud surrogate so yeah cool so, do you have any children of your own i have one son who's almost four years old cool okay and what motivated you to become a, a surrogate um so when i think when my son was about 10 days old it's a very emotional time i remember looking down at him um and crying and thinking if i could provide this for another family i'd want to um, so it's been in my heart since then. And then we had a global pandemic and something about um, creating meaning during this time was really important. And so I sought out surrogacy during this time. Is this something that you made on your own or do you have a partner? Is he or she involved and did he or she approve of this really? Yeah, so I have a husband um, and he has been super supportive. Um, he was very excited to meet the baby. Um, very helpful throughout the pregnancy and really committed that these parents become parents. Cool. So uh, when I said approve, um, women don't need their husbands to approve of anything, but generally in surrogacy, the consent is important of the partner as well. So that's putting on, touching on that too. So um, how, uh, I want to talk about the moment of, tell us about the moment with how you met your child. How about this intended parent, tell us a little bit about your um. moment of meeting this. Why don't you, can you give the baby to him? And maybe that might help him jog his memory from seven days ago, you know? <laughs> Lion King, here yeah. we are. So tell us about the moment. Wow, it was like uh, magical. Because our dream came true, and uh, we, uh, we were really, really, really happy to have him, even for the skin to skin. We almost cried. <laughs> it was very uh, emotional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we can have one too. Okay. <sighs> yeah, that's so emotional. <laughs> Tell Every, us a little everybody bit about needs Kleenex. <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about the moment that you met your son. Oh, that was uh, everything at the same time. So emotional, so so many things at the same time. But when we first met him, uh, it was magical. Uh, I think it's an achievement for everybody. For yeah. for for our dream, for so we were fulfilled of happiness, of joy, of love, of everything. So yeah, it was a magical time. How was that for you as a surrogate, giving the baby? Like, can, 
did you get to give the baby like this to them? Was it a <laughs> symbolic Lion King moment? Tell us um, about that. We weren't able to have a Lion King moment. Um, only because I was put in isolation during labor, because um, I spiked a little bit of the fever. Um, but holding the baby for the first few minutes of his life was really quite a privilege. Um, and then the nurse asked if I was ready, and I felt very ready to pass him off so his parents got to meet him. And then the next morning I got to see the parents and the baby together, and that was another very emotional, fulfilling moment. Yeah, yeah. I think all the... Um... All the emotion we hide because we were we weren't we wasn't together yeah. for this moment, and we shared um, all this this love together, and it was like a communion moment. It was very so. I never feel this thing in my whole life. It's I cannot describe it. That's very strong. It was definitely gratitude. Yeah, I think for yeah. sure. Thank you so much, proud surrogate. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's reflect a little bit on your journey. How was the pregnancy? Uh, the pregnancy overall, I, I, it was pretty good. I found the very beginning very difficult um, with all the medication. Um, I felt more sick at the beginning of this pregnancy than um, with, my, with my son. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it is very um, miraculous that you can make someone who's not supposed to be pregnant. You're tricking the body and the mind with all these hormones you're essentially, you know, making yourself and your body think you're supposed to be pregnant and then there's a foreign object called an embryo, mm -hmm. right, inside. And so you took care of this for such a long time. Okay, so aside from these medications that you had some trouble with or struggles with, yeah. um, what about some other challenges? Did you, what were some really challenging moments during the journey? Um, I would say probably the most challenging part was how people react to surrogacy. It can be very polarizing. People either think, uh, you're like amazing as a surrogate or sometimes have really stupid questions they ask or statements Give us some stupid questions, please. <laughs> yeah, like probably the t there's two the top one is give us four four <laughs> 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 I didn't prepare for four <laughs> um, It was like I couldn't people will say things like well, I couldn't I couldn't give up the baby um, but What do you say to that? Well, he's really not he's not mine to give up. He's really really giving him back to his parents. Okay. Um, number two, people would ask me, um, like, what if I die during childbirth? And so probably my, my response to that typically was, like, you would never ask that if I was pregnant with a biological child. Okay. Um, that's number two. Um, <laughs> four. I don't, those are the two that stand out, Nathan. Do people just come and touch your belly? Is that kind of what people were doing? Like... Oh my so. gosh, I would slap their hands. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> but people ask a lot of a lot of personal questions too, also about the parents, um, and it's really not not any, anyone's business unless okay. unless you want to share. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Well, I couldn't believe that there's that many questions that you used to get, and that's that's not great. Um, you know, what's the relationship been like for you and your intended parents? Um, it's been really... Oh, he's so sweet when he mm. coos. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? The cooing? The baby Show coos baby a home. lot. Yeah, lying in moment. Lying yeah, King, second. <laughs> Pass it to Papa. Woo! Um, it's been a really amazing relationship. It was very funny to do it during a pandemic um, because I didn't actually meet either parent in person until I think I was five months pregnant. And I really wish there was a manual in life of like how you interact with someone um, when you're pregnant with their kid already and you never met them. Okay. Do you guys live in the same city or, I mean, no. that, would, that would be silly, but. <laughs> uh, no, we live in different provinces in Canada. Okay, so yeah. that's why we, we couldn't meet us since uh, this, uh, this since I've done number, it. yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, can you tell us a little bit, how about you? How about you tell us a little bit about your relationship with your surrogate? Uh, I think it went pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Thank you for letting us know. <laughs> I mean, did you guys text a little bit? Oh, yeah. Did you guys just like talk on the phone? 
We did a lot of WhatsApping. WhatsApping. Yeah. And we some did. video calls. At video the calls, yes. Yeah. Okay. But um, and he visited once uh, yeah. in December. Okay. And was were you able to attend an ultrasound together? Yeah. Yeah. The 3D ultrasound we did together. Was that emotional for you too? Yeah. Yeah. Hot and emotional at the same memories. time. <laughs> Memories, they made me drink so much coca-cola like i was so sick and she's just like, to make it move right? yeah she's like you have to have more i'm like i've had a liter of coca-cola it's not good for the baby <laughs> yes yeah and it was very uh, the the girl was very weird very <laughs> what's the most challenging thing about the journey that you're willing to share proud intended parents in this whole journey to meeting your child I think the most challenging part is the waiting time because in our journey uh, it wasn't smooth like that uh, before Proud Fertility. So uh, before meeting Nathan we have waited almost three years for, with another, another agency uh, without uh, having nothing and no contacts, nothing. So it's a, it's, you have to be uh, patient. We have to be very, very strong uh, emotionally. Uh, so, and involved. yeah, and involved into this project. So it's not like a, going to the supermarket. You, oh, no. <laughs> you, you have to be very. So yeah, we have to be strong to be focused on your project, and you have to be patient. Yeah. So. And there was a lot of waiting time even after you guys met. Yeah. Um, there were a little bar a few barriers, like you know, pandemic here and there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think it uh, it go through our relationships too because yeah. Uh, yeah, we wanted to build something because it was a pandemic and we cannot meet us together. Uh, I think we it, that was our way to uh, to discover each other and yeah. know each other better. Yeah. So one of the things that I can reflect on with this particular file is that. I think that you guys met, but it didn't really kickstart for at least six or seven months until mm -hmm. I'm, I'm ready to try. Even six or even more, even more right? Because yeah. We, yeah, we met in November and the yeah. transfer had been done in July. July. So that's like almost eight months and without even meeting somebody and taking someone that the route is actually to meet somebody and then maybe I always say to build a relationship during the journey and get to know each other, but then you guys did that and there's there's been moments probably where you might things might change in life and you guys did you guys keep in faith or yeah, yeah. we keep faith <laughs> you should know yeah 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 <laughs> okay so um i guess the last thing that i would love to ask from both parties is what advice would you give to people who are like you as an intended parent and as like are like you as a woman considering giving this gift as a surrogate so how about you go first uh, be patient it's really important because when you're patient, the um, things come right in time. Um, I think that's the most important part. Mm. And I think <laughs> we can have something as a gay couple, never give up and just keep focus on your dream. Uh, because it's not because you are gay and uh, the society can be very judgmental, but we can every time find our angel our pride angel to uh, to fulfill our dream so just want to catch her uh oh continue your yeah. advice <laughs> <laughs> no i think uh, my husband after that the, the the advice of patience is very important for i think for for everybody but yeah keep focus on your dream and never give up that's the best advice how about you um, I think it would be having a lot of honest conversations with your support system. I think that's really important as a surrogate, um, as well as really getting to know the parents and um, <laughs> <laughs> um, really building a relationship, I think, has been really helpful and a fulfilling part of this whole process. Mm. Okay, well, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Should we thank just pan you. into the baby one more time? Yeah, Should do another do another Lion King, King moment yeah, can. with the proud surrogate. <laughs> boo -doo -boo -doo. No refunds. <laughs> <laughs> do you want another one yourself now? Me. Um, <laughs> <laughs>
No. I'm happy to hold him and then give him back. <laughs> so, no. Okay, well, this is Proud Fertility. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Nathan Chan from Proud Fertility with Proud Surrogate and Proud Intended Parents and a six, seven, eight, six, six, six days, days old. old. <laughs> We should give him some coke right now, too. Yeah. <laughs> Whole leader. Whole leader. <laughs>